Okay, hello. Give me a minute for this. I have it rigged up. I have my camera rigged up on top of a roll of any towels. It's on top of an upside down bowl. <laughs> Trying to get a video. <clears throat> well, here we are. <laughs> Last day. It is almost 9 o'clock a.m. Um, Pacific Time. October the 16th, 2012, day before my surgery. Start my bowel prep in about <laughs> five minutes. Uh, woke up in tears this morning, had an amazing day yesterday. Oh my god, like everything went perfect. Which anyone who knows me knows how very rare that is. I'm the person who like everything that can go wrong goes wrong. So that was pretty amazing to have an entire day with that much stuff happening where nothing bad happened for a change. And then I woke up in tears today, <clears throat> not even sure why. I mean, I'm happy, excited, but the brain's spinning in my head. A little bit overwhelmed. Why am I overwhelmed? Oh my god. Um, just look through the paperwork of the post-op things, all the stuff I'm gonna have to do, like for both top and bottom. I know bottom is the whole dilation three times a day for six months. It's supposed to be painful and hurting like skin ripping and pins and stuff sticking in you and all this kind of thing. Uh, and reading for the top, I'm going to have some sort of special exercises. I don't know what that means or how long that'll be. That I have to do three times a day for the next year. Surgical bra, like four to six weeks, have to wear it as much as possible. Can't wear underwire bras. Can't wear. Can't go in the hot tub. Can't go in the pool. Can't go in the bathtub. Can only take showers, and only when they tell me. And I feel so overwhelmed. Like I feel like I'm losing freedom to just function for the next year with all the overwhelming amount of stuff I'm gonna have to do. You know, it's just. I get that. I'm looking through the clear liquids, and it says beer. It actually says alcoholic beverage. I have gone a month now without drinking, and this stupid thing says clear liquids and includes in clear liquids alcoholic beverage. It's like, really? What a smack in the face that is, because I would have loved to have been drunk today. Thank you. But, um, I am overwhelmed beyond belief. I am so happy and excited, but I'm freaking scared out of my mind. I keep thinking back to the last, well, the last few times I had sex. And for that matter, all the times I've had over my life, and it's just like, scared to let that go. But, Marcy told me yesterday how things will work, and, you know, it's, going to be a while and all that, but it shouldn't be a problem. All this shouldn't be, shouldn't be this, shouldn't be that. This should happen. I hate not knowing for sure. I hate worrying and wondering what will really happen. Anyway, so today, clear liquids. My dad is off making his journey to Safeway. You can get me some Sprite and water and jello and popsicle and chicken bouillon and whatever. And shaving cream. I didn't bring nearly enough. I figured I'd have to shave maybe a little bit face, underarm, a couple hairs here and there. Apparently I have to shave everything. I kind of thought not to do that because I figured they'd want to see where things were so they, you know, I don't know. I figured since they're doing electrolysis that it would want, they'd want to see where the hair follicles and stuff, I don't know. But anyway, I was told to shave everything very well, as close as possible. Um, not looking forward to that, especially because by the time I do that, this is the night before surgery, I will be, like, well into the bowel prep, and, you know, with my Crohn's, that's going to be a mess, quite literally. I'm glad I'm not the maid at this place, because, yeah. Um, whew. trying not to break down while doing this, 
little video thing. But, I can't believe it all. It's like, I feel like I'm not even awake. I feel like it's all, it's all so cloudy. Being so far away out here, like, away from my life, you know, away from, I mean, my dad's here, but, I mean, outside of that, you know, not having my cats jumping on me, and not having my mom giving me grief, and not, like, worrying about going to hang out, or not worrying about, but planning, you know, to go hang out with all my friends, and trying to think of what I'm doing, and, like, schedule this and that, and what I, you know, responsibilities, and chores, and just being away from everything that is my life, I feel like, I'm scared to death. It's like... I, part of me doesn't... <coughs> anyway. Part of me doesn't really want to let go, you know? I know it's human nature to fear change and all that. And that's all wonderful, yes, it's human nature to fear change. Yes, thank you, you know, for that little psychology. But that doesn't really help a whole lot. Maybe if I was 20, it wouldn't be this difficult, but I'm almost 40. I've done a lot in my life. I mean, a lot. I have seen so much, done so much, gone so many places and met so many people, and my life has just been so crazy just in general, and so over the top these whole years, so just outrageous and it's like just it's so weird because I feel like all of that is like it's like I've said in posts before it's like kind of like a total recall thing I feel like I have someone else's memories like I don't know how to explain it I'm sure there's other people out there who get it probably other trans people who've had the surgery or who are going through it the next few days or whatever, you probably get what I'm saying, but it's like all of that feels like another life, another person. Like I'm gonna miss it. As weird as that is, I keep thinking about you. Know, just the thought of looking and seeing my body like completely different. Yeah. I'm so excited about it, but yeah. I'm so used to going to the bathroom or shower or whatever, you know, just changing clothes and just seeing oh god, why did I bring tissues? Uh, oh wait. That's right, the camera.